be paddling around on the internet again, are we? Check this out. I just got a myth off of this site. What? You'll like this. It's called Dirty versus Clean Car, and it's another fuel efficiency myth. The myth is that a dirty car is more fuel efficient than a clean car because the dirt creates some kind of golf ball-like effect on the surface of the car, somehow making it more aerodynamic and thus more fuel efficient. That's not bad. I thought you'd like it. In these troubled economic times, some people will go to any lengths to make their gas go the extra distance. But could a coating of crud really alter the aerodynamics of your car and give you better fuel efficiency? Well, it's down to the Mythbusters to find out if there's any mileage to this theory. Okay, here's my plan. Two cars, side by side, one clean, one as dirty as we can make it, and we test our fuel efficiencies against each other. You know, based on previous experience, we've never been able to find two cars that have identical performance. I say we get one car and test it both clean and dirty. And compare the results against each other to see if there's any meat on the bones of this myth. Exactly. Let's do it. So for accuracy, they'll use just one car. And uh, this one should do. I'm sitting on our test platform. This average American four-door sedan will be what we're testing, the clean versus dirty car myth, and it is the only car we are using, i.e. we're going to do all of our tests using only this car, some of them clean, some of them dirty, and measuring how much fuel it uses for each test. This season, myths will <laughs> fall. All new Mythbusters, Wednesdays at 9, only on Discovery.